Hello, I'm David Fobes from Los Alamos National Laboratory, and today I will be introducing Power Models Distribution, an open source framework for exploring distribution powerful formulations. Before I get started, I want to introduce the other co authors and acknowledge our funding sources. Power Models Distribution and this paper contain significant contribution from Sander Clays, a PhD student at KU Leuven, Frederick Geth at CSIRO, and Carlton Cochran, also here at Los Alamos National Lab. This project was funded primarily through the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Electricity and Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy as part of the Clean Start Durham's GMLC project. Also by Los Alamos National Laboratory through the LDRD program and by the Center for Nonlinear Studies at Los Alamos. So there's quite a few different motivations for the creation of power models distribution. First, distribution systems have rather unique considerations over transmission systems, making existing transmission-focused software uh, for optimization inadequate. For example, phase unbalance is far more typical in distribution systems, and therefore the positive sequence single phase approximation commonly used in transmission systems is far less reflective of reality. Also, there's been a remarkable increase in the penetration of distributed energy resources such as solar, wind, and batteries on distribution grids, uh, which can, which when connected back to the transmission system, can mitigate the need for a traditional transmission network expansion. There are also unique demands of controllable loads such as electric vehicle chargers and HVAC systems. Furthermore, like has happened in the transmission power flow formulation space, there are also an increasing number of approximations and relaxations for unbalanced distribution network optimization problems, and a distinct lack of optimization-focused software that allows for easy comparisons of these different formulations. So what does creating an optimization-first platform for power system modeling mean in a practical sense? So what requirements do we have? First, separating modeling from the solver algorithms is very important. There exists a number of well-known tools for achieving this kind of abstraction, such as JUMP or GAMS, which result from result in declarative programming approach, where the program structure is described by the user, but the method for finding the solution is not. In this way, a variety of well-known solvers can be supported to solve a large number of types of mathematical programs, such as nonlinear programming, semi-definite programming, second-order cone programming, or linear programming problems. The direct benefit of this abstraction to optimization problems is that switching between the approaches quickly without having to re-implement equations becomes possible, which is essential for rapid prototyping, uh, that is central to algorithmic research, and it allows for direct comparison of solver performance for identical problems and formulations. Furthermore, to facilitate the development of mathematical programs, modeling layers should be uh, able to enable SWIT implementations and maintainability. And in particular, uh, especially for multi-phase systems, the modeling layer should include such features as support for vector and matrix equations, automatic derivative computation, and support for semi-definite variables and constraints. So that covers kind of the requirements we need for optimization first approach, but what software out there exists today that covers distribution modeling? There are some very nice full-featured open source software packages that currently exist today for distribution network analysis, but they have a focus on unbalanced power flow algorithms instead of fulfilling the need that we see for an optimization experimental platform. In terms of the recent state of distribution optimization, in practice, the collection of data and construction of mathematical models, uh, a variety of approximations are often made such as neglecting branch shunt admittance, uh, assuming constant power load models, assuming perfect grounding of the neutral at all buses, or even going as far to assume balanced loads across all phases. And these things are really kind of inadequate for accurately, representation, accurately representing uh, distribution systems.
A few years ago, Power Models, a transmission network focused optimization library, was introduced to, that followed this pattern of model abstraction. To achieve this, Power Models is written in Julia and utilizes Jump as the model abstraction layer to decouple the solvers from the problems and formulations. Power Models also decouples the problem types like optimal power flow or optimal transmission switching from the mathematical power flow formulations, including AC polar or second order cone relaxations. Finally, Power Models was written keeping in mind modern software engineering practices in such a way as to make it easily extensible, which is evidenced by the growing number of extension packages, just a couple of which I list here. And so this is the model that we followed when we created Power Models distribution. So in response to the needs for an optimization focused tool for distribution, and following the example of Power Models, we built Power Models distribution focused primarily around exploring unbalanced power network optimization problems, such as optimal power flow, OPF with on-load on tap changing, and others. As a small side note, we do include power flow, a power flow solver, but because it uses the same interface as the optimization problem, it is much more inefficient compared to dedicated power flow algorithms. As with power models, power models distribution is open source, written in Julia and using Jump. It leverages internal functions and data models established by power models so that we didn't have to invent, reinvent the wheel for every aspect. And where possible, we even reuse some variables and constraints for phase agnostic components. For our data inputs, we have chosen to support the OpenDSS file specification, but it's important to note here that we do not intend to replicate OpenDSS functionality, but only to uh, leverage its mature data format to build network cases and act as uh, a tool that goes alongside uh, OpenDSS that adds to it. Under the hood, in power models, we try to take a generic approach to modeling to avoid edge cases for example, in the, cases of, in the case of branches, the physics of power flow under phase unbalance are described in the framework of Kirchhoff's circuit laws, where equations are linear in current and voltage for fixed impedances. For the coupling of neighboring conductors, the impedance becomes a matrix that includes self-impedance, the diagonals, and mutual impedance, the off-diagonals, where the size of the matrix depends on the context. For example, a cron-reduced four-wire network would be 3x3, three three, networks with explicit neutral conductors 4x4, four four, and we can even see 5x5 five five matrices where earth voltage rises are included. In power models distribution, the branch model formulations are standardized on multi-conductor pi sections, which support full matrices for both series and shunt elements, and even allow admittance shunts on the from and to sides to be different, which enables gamma sections. In terms of uh, data models for different components, power models distribution leverages the internal mathematical models of power models for consistency, but distribution components are much more varied and complex than the standard set of transmission components, and therefore in many cases distribution components need to be decomposed into a series of more simple mathematical objects. Here's an example of a flowchart that we use to uh, decompose commonly seen distribution com components that you can see in green into mathematical data objects in blue. For a more detailed introduction of the different models of components supported in power models distribution, uh, either refer to the paper or to the online documentation. One component, though, that I'd like to highlight in particular is multi-phase transformers, which can have many different settings in multi-phase networks. They can have delta, y, or zigzag configurations, two or more windings, and significant no-load losses, which makes them difficult to model straightforwardly. Therefore, we have included a decomposition model where we break down multi-phase transformers, uh, in-winding multi-phase transformers into ideal two-winding lossless transformers and build a loss model from impedance branches uh, to account for the no-load losses. So on this slide, we show an example of a three-winding transformer with uh, delta configurations and a zigzag configuration that are uh, decomposed down into these ideal transformers and loss model. 
In terms of the powerful formulations already included in power models distribution, uh, we have a nice set of formulations that include several nonlinear formulations, semi-definite and second order cone relaxations, and several linear approximations, as you can see here in this table. These formulations cover several different categories, but the bus injection model and the branch flow model. Uh, multiple variable spaces, such as current voltage and power voltage, and multiple coordinate spaces, like polar or rectangular coordinates. We've also strived to make sure the user experience for power model distribution is as simple as can be expected for an optimization-focused tool. Here I show a simple workflow for installing the package, loading a data file, defining an optimization solver, in this case the open source, or open source IP op solver, and running an optimal power flow using an AC polar formulation. And you can see you get your results out here and it's all very straightforward. On the right, I show how we define an OPF problem to illustrate how easy it is to define your own problem specification, where you can basically compose your problem specification by uh, looking at adding different variables and adding constraints in a straightforward fashion and adding an objective at the end. In order to validate our mathematical models, we perform comparisons of the AC power flow between power models distribution and OpenDSS on several IEEE test cases. And we show that the voltage deltas across these networks between, so that the comparison between the OpenDSS values and our voltage values on each bus, uh, we show those voltages differences to be small, less than 1E7 for each of the cases, as you can see in this table, in this center table here. We also compare uh, perform some comparisons of several of the formulations uh, on a selection of the IEEE cases demonstrating the performance of the different formulations in context. So here we show a comparison between AC polar and AC rectangular. You can see that the, the results of the objective results are the same across uh, those two formulations. We also compare SDP and SOC formulations and you can see the time performance and the gap percentages of each of those for the different test cases. And refer back to the paper for more detailed discussion. As for the future of power models distribution, development is still very active. We recently released a new version that contains a data model abstraction uh, that introduces a user-facing model that more closely matches engineering realities of the system and pushes the decomposition I discussed to a lower layer. We are now actively working on adding support for explicit representations of neutral and ground conductors, which will entail directly modeling one and two phase components. And we will be adding that in our next major version. We have also had requests from the user community for many different features, uh, including harmonics analysis, short circuit calculations, and problem specific solvers. So in conclusion, we have developed a free open source tool chain for the optimization of distribution network power flows, which com complements existing tools by providing an optimization first approach. We have demonstrated using power flow uh, the validity of our physical models on a variety of unbalanced IEEE test feeders, and we have included a robust open DSS parser written natively in Julia to ingest distribution test case data. And as a final point, I just want to mention that we think that our work here has highlighted a dire need for a library of unbalanced OPF benchmark cases similar to the PGLib ACOPF benchmarks. Thank you for your attention.